Okay, who did you want me to go talk to? Okay, the leader of here... Not at his home. Varchek. Okay. I'm just gonna head to Varchek. Great. Across the world again. I'm sure there's a way to optimize this, but I'm just going with, you know, whoever I see next, you know? Okay, my Latics. My riding skill and athletic skill goes up. I'll move faster in the world map be, uh, if I'm mounted or on foot. One sec. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Sea Raiders. God's either Sea Raiders no matter what area you're here at. What you. Uh... In the original game, they probably gave some very nice equipment early on. Like, the, I saw advice like, you know, be sure to hunt them down kind of thing. Uh, I, I don't think I know you. Peace, you stranger. Excluding Nini's sturgeons. ways to go. I'm the leader. Yours is a face that, uh, is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? I am Ragnvad, king of the Sturgeons. I am Ward of Vercheg and uh, Balgard. No oh, they've crossed me. Wind up, wind up as food for the ravens. Yeah, the day my father died thanks to Batarian treachery. When they pledged to support us in battle, we believed they'd stand with us in the shield wall like men. But of course, this was not the Batarian way. They sprung like some woodland tri uh, trickery up in the hills, killed off Nerity's vanguard, and had spent the rest of the battle whooping and boasting and chopping the heads off men who were already dead. The Sturgeons who met uh, Nerity's guard face to face. My father ordered me to stay back as he led them into battle, but he was at their head. He forced them back, then they broke and ran for shelter to camp. We went and attacked the ramparts and broke them, but my father was hit by an imperial mace at the moment of his tramp and died. Never forget when a messenger ran to tell me that my father was dead. 
But I knew I must swallow my grief because I was now ki because now I was king. I rode down into the ruins of the Imperial camp to take their banners my trophy as a trophy. My inheritance won by my father and passed down to me. Oh, some of the boys were insubordinate, but I, but I've since shown them that I am master. If you want more information, there are two people who you might try to speak to. Estana worked as a sort of unofficial spy master for Nerites. She lives near Epicrota. Then there is Arzagos, who was his bodyguard. He was supposed to be near Mar Maranos, though he has changed quite a bit since then. Thank you. It's good to meet you. Uh, come to me if you need anything. Thank you, you've been the most helpful. Probably because he's the very last one. Hmm. They have, inf they have prisoners. That are infantry. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any manhunters in this game. Uh, bounty hunters. They are all armed with clubs and the like. Um, some troops. I keep reading, you know, but I have a grudge with you, brigand. I keep reading that as bigot out of, out of the corner of my eye. I just keep misreading the word. Okay, you're a lot nearer. Okay. Not my fight. It's really not a fight I can assist in anyway. Sorry, I don't think I know you. My name is Vato, madam. May I ask your name? I'm Istana. Probably already know that, though. Was a little great power, but now... Anyway, I'm most curious what you might want with me. So what brings you to me? It's voice acted. We have a piece of the dragon banner of... Caradius. They go missing. Is that true? You may have one piece. It's of little use in itself. You'll have to find the other parts. But once you can bring together the pieces, you'll have something of tremendous value. How so? The banner of Calradius is part of a legend. They say it was carried by Calradius the Great, as he led his small band of exiles into this land to make a new home for themselves. They say that so as long as it's carried by a true son of Calradius, it shall never be defeated in battle. Our daughter, I imagine, but although that has never come up. Of course, our Gorus armies have been defeated many times, but I guess those commanders and emperors were not true sons. Cover a little legend. A child could see through it if she tried, but of course people never try to see true the noble eyes that bind it together. Thank heaven for that. So, can you help me find a buyer for it? A buyer? Think bigger than that. Let me just say that if you can find the missing pieces, I'm sure I can help you put it to good use. So where can I find the other pieces? Before I reveal that information to you, I need to know more about your intentions. One could use the banner to restore the Empire, but one could also use the banner to destroy it. Let me tell you about myself. I was a confidant to the old Emperor Nerites. Vishra was not a spy master, as I am a woman. But that was the role I played nonetheless. I like Nerites and was very grateful for his trust. But he was not a good Emperor, too stubborn and principled. Perhaps I should have poisoned him. This is what I learned from a lifetime of politics. There's nothing worse than disorder. For suffice to say that I know him better than anyone else but the lies and cruelties that kept the Emperor alive. All the murders I've committed in ten years of serving Nerites have been mounted a death toll in a single hour when an army storms a town. There's nothing special about our Empire. Any one of these petty kings and khans and sultans could probably get lucky and conquer Kalradi and do as good a job uh, ruling it as we did. But the point is, we already did it. Greatest crimes are in the past. It's not undo what has already been done. 
So if you intend to use the banner to save the Empire, I'll tell you what I know. But if you want to go backward, not forward, I'll not help you. Of course, I intend to use the banner to help save the Empire. Good. Good. Then... When you have recovered all the pieces, return to me and I'll help you put them into use. Hmm. Hmm. Talk to you. Well now, stranger, peace to you. What is your name? Uh, Savato. Hmm. Many men be will begin their story by reciting their ancestry. I will not do this. A man should be judged on his own deeds, and all of ancestors has him no credit. Once my family does not acknowledge me, so why should I acknowledge them? I was the son of a slave. My master, a judge, raised me in his house, but it was clear he would never spend much time to ensure my success in the world. So I was tutored with his other sons and chose to study medicine as a young man. I thought I could be—I could perhaps be a physician. Well, I was soon disabused of this idea. Doctors starting out in the world must either have a great deal of money, or family did insure them along with clients. I had neither. Instead of working in the city, I took service aboard a ship. Professionally, it was perhaps the best thing I could have done. Fevers, injuries, festering sores, the seamen, as a, as a great number and variety than man, any manner of land dweller, I imagine. But of little patience for life aboard, the monotony, the tyranny of the captains, the lack of any space to oneself, the groaning of timbers, constant smell of rotting bilge. Yes, it must have been trying. At any rate, I've, I've a bit of money to my name, and I'll allege to wait a few weeks before choosing my next employer. You could say perhaps I'm in between jobs right now. Yes. Uh, yeah. Come on, Gary, join the other side. So, we found ourselves a medic. Savato. So we found it not yet, I'm working on it. Okay. Oh. Not you, you, not you, and one of you. He made the right choice. Then he realized how terrible of a name I have. Oh yeah. Now 54 and one-handed. faster. If I am, it's truly really noticeable difference. Really, that's a guy. I thought it was just, you know, a barrel or something. I'm not sure if there's any value in bringing an archer to this engagement. Because it's a very much a close quarters fight, you know? 
Probably best to just bring heavy military, uh, heavy melee. Only two dudes. Still, I'm not ready for a duel yet. Oh, this was the hideout she knew of. Oh, well, that, that... I discovered the hideout because of her. That's what I was trying to say. I thought I just discovered it on the way by without it even noticing. I didn't realize it was because she tipped me off to it. I guess I didn't expect the next part to be so near. I, so I sorry, I don't think I know you. Probably where my eyes are ghosts. I'm not sure why you sought me out, but know that my old life as Imperial Lapdog is over. Uh, I believe I've peace to the Dragon Banner of Calradius. Is that true? Oh, that is interesting. We have one piece of banner, but it's a little use in itself. You'll find the other parts. Well, uh, you'll have to find the other parts of some tremendous value. A convenient legend, eh? Of course, the Coradians ha uh, have been defeated many times, but get those who are not true sons. Still, you could say it represents the strength and endurance of this empire. Buyer? A buyer? Can help you do far more than that. Uh, before I answer you, I need to know more about... Uh, you and I need to know more about each other. Don't know what you know about me. So this is an empire. I was a commander in the Imperial Armies, but I am not an Imperial. I am what they call... Palak. Polak is a language no longer spoken, except by a few old people. Even the word Polak is imperial. We are a people who have forgotten who we are. The Empire has a genius for destruction. Destruction of languages, traditions, gods. It takes our fortress, slaughters our men, turns our children into its own children. Nothing can bring the Polak people back. They are now imperial. But it is an insult to our name, to our gods, to our memory, that the state which destroyed our shrines and fortresses should last and thrive. I vow that this empire shall not survive the civil war, if I can do anything to stop, stop it. And believe me, if I had that banner, there is very, there, there is something very much I could do. I too would see the empire destroyed. Good, I will tell you what I know. I heard about one other piece. But I don't know where the other pieces are, you may need to keep searching for them. When you've recovered all pieces, return to me and I'll help you put them into use.
See, this is a speed one. That's a one for carrying stuff. So hold on to these two. Mm. Infantry man, yeah. Spear infantry. Palatine guard. Lovian. Recruits. Until nightfall. Attack. No, not veteran archers. Uh, yeah. Jesus, got him in the neck. Sadly, just a skill point. Rebooter, eh? Yar, I be a pirate of the land. Yar. Yar. Serve me, serve me, serve me, serve me, serve me. Thank you. Get in there, house of the Mandavillion. Third and final banner piece. So am I going to reassemble the Empire? Or disassemble it? There's points to both. The Empire has committed sins, has dissolved cultures, you know, so much has been forgotten and lost. But at the same time, the Empire did actually succeed in bringing a measure of peace around. Oh, this is still here? What? Uh, so... It hasn't been entirely without benefit. Hmm. Hard to say. Hmm. 
I think I may go for the Empire. Because, like, uh, I, I like the Roman aesthetic. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> it's not my favorite one, but, yeah. Oh, the scholars gained some writing skill. Close fisted, but merciful. Um, oh, okay, so this is how I change things. Okay, make that the scholar. Scout. He's the best steward. The engineer. That's me. I. I uh. I'm going to keep myself as quartermaster so I can keep raising my steward. Oh god, this is... Oh, it's such an improvement. Very good. I was wondering how you do that. So, so which way should I go about this? Should I go... Destroy it or save it? Destroy it. Destroy it or save it. I'm honestly torn. Who knows? Maybe I'll do another run of this at some point. And I can take make the other choice, but I still don't know what know what choice I should make for today, you know? Should I destroy it? Should I save should I save it or should I destroy it? So basically, I'm of the opinion that, yeah, it is a shame that those cultures have been wiped out. The Emperor has done a lot of destruction, but apparently, well, it's not what she's talked about. Remember in the intro, 
the Empire did actually bring in a, an era of peace and pros uh, prosperity. So there has been good sides to the Empire. I'm not sure if she's really the best example avatar of it. He's certainly better representative of his side. But... Yeah, I'm not sure. Can I talk to the brother about this? Dead. <laughs> that is funny. Uh... Brother, I'm yours to command. Well, those bandits back there didn't give us too much trouble. I'm still trying to decide what to do. It would be easier for me to choose who to side with if I could, um... Fuck it, we'll go with this guy. Because he's after, he's hiding out in the Welch Seeming Kingdom. Um... It's hard to decide who to side with. I'll go with him, but... I'm torn. It's probably not a big deal either way, but or maybe it, it maybe it's a grand thing. I don't know how this game will handle it. Sabado, it's been a while. I thank you for what you did for me. I kept your word. Everyone, everyone is so dependable these days. <laughs> I've got our old pieces of dragon banner. What now? Excellent work. When you unfurl this banner, I meant to see it. T uh, what they told was lost. Uh, it will make a powerful impression. Girl, you've chosen by uh, being chosen by heaven for a great purpose. I see the makings of a new legend here. Allow me to call you Banner Lord. Right then. To business of bringing down this cursed empire. As I see it, you have two options. You can create a kingdom of your own, or support an existing one. How do I create my own kingdom? It will not be easy, but I, c I can explain in detail. First, your kind must be independent. You cannot be pledged to an existing realm. Next, your kind must have worn itself considerable renown, or no one will follow you. I recommend you gather a fairly large army, as, may be, as you may soon be at war with more powerful and established realms. Finally, you need a capital for your realm. 
The enemy is submit your own, as long as you do not speak the Imperial tongue. I'll not help you create another empire. Now, when you are ready to carry in your kingdom, instruct the governor of your capital to have a proclamation read out through your lands. So, you have much to do. I wait your success. Return to me when you wish to carry your ownership of the banner of the world. Uh, should you join uh, the kingdom that you wish to support, you should join the kingdom you wish to support by talking to the leader. None will bring back the Plank people, but a final victory of any one of those will be a symbol of vengeance. My informants will tell me once you pledge your support. Thank precious help. Oh, I can talk with her. Help them send troops. Jesus, I've gained tons of rap. Problem? Yeah. Mm, wasn't planning on taking you alive, honestly. If it happens, it happens. Impressive, most impressive. Well, things will get interesting now. I'll need to re-embroider... Uh, I'll need to embroider a proper legend about you. The Vine Omen's Agent Bert, that kind of thing. For now, we can call you Bannerlord, who brings down the wrath of heaven on the impudent barbarians. In order to pass away ahead of you, my child, you can make your own claim to rulership of the Empire and try to win this war, or support an existing claimant. To have a chance as Imperial Contender, you must fulfill some conditions. First, your kind must be independent to come to the existing realm. Uh, must be renowned, the largest army you can gather. You'll need a capital. Uh, I need someone will do as long as they speak the Imperial language. Now, when you're ready to declare your kingdom, uh, system. She was won and pledged allegiance. When the Civil War began, I was a bit torn. Regia uh, was the cover's ruler. Yaris was probably the best fighter, and Lucan seemed to have best graspable laws and traditions. But you can make up your own mind. My little birds will tell me once you pledge support. Um, so. Okay. Now I'm going to sign on as a merc with a, with a country. Uh, we'll go with the Welch. Oh, actually. This should have disappeared, but who knows, maybe it's an infinite grindable uh, hideout. These guys are a little hard to chase down because they do have calf. Is Milkorg? This game is in early access, so. Mm.
I think that means they were taken alive. Yeah. Red, dead, white, or grey, whatever. Alive. Yes. Mm. Beautiful. Oh, I accidentally got rid of my shield. someone else actually mm, oh well okay that's gone and two points in charm and she's getting a point in athletics <laughs> 